is the Jack 20. Welcome back to another part of Let's Learn Something New. Corny intro, yes, I know. So, today's part, I'm going to be showing you all how to make the audio reverb effect. Basically, it's an uh, it's an audio effect that creates echoes. So, I think in NCS's Let's Play, I'm offering the time at one point, Dark Cloud, it's used quite a bit of, well, it's used quite a bit. So, once again, we need test audio. Here's my test audio right here. This is the test recording for the audio reverb effect. I know, I'm so full of myself, aren't I? So, now, when I first export the WAV file, sometimes the program doesn't use it. So I use a program called RateBrain. What it does is, uh, it just kind of makes into a much, I think it just kind of refines it, the WAV file, so that, you know, it, the program can actually read it. Go! What? Hang on, I guess I gotta change the resampling. Sheesh, picky freaking program. Now I'll make it better, why not? 418. There we go. So, we now have a better WAV file. It's just right up there. This is the test recording. Okay, we heard enough about that. It's basically the same file, just in a different format, that this program down here, Crystal, the audio engine. Now, first glance, yeah, a little more complicated than Melodine was in our last part. Now, it's actually quite simple. Once again, you just got to make sure you know exactly what you're doing. These waivers here are where you put your audio tracks in, whatever you want to put in. And you notice to the left of each one of them, there's a little folder that imports files. So I'm going to click it, and we're just going to scroll down until we can find the right audio file, which is this right brain one, because apparently it doesn't read the normal ones when I export from Camtasia Studio, picky programs. So here's our thing once again we can zoom in and you can also drag and crunch the bar a bit kind of cool we'll just drag with this little uh play box up with us this is the test recording for the audio reverb effect whoa anyone else think that's a little bit lower let me try to change that to mono this is the test recording i swear it sounds deeper from when i originally recorded it and it still works so now we got this here. In any case, it's time to now take care of some, well, some substantial things. Now down here, we see our waiver ones. Is the test recording? It's a little audio editor. Now, notice how in it there are two effects icons. We want to use the second one, FX2, and one of the selections when we click on the no effects is crystal reverb which brings up this little box here and it has certain settings this crystal reverb is what creates your echoing effect you can change the room size the width of the room the damping which basically says how much wet echo like the echo echo although I just forgot a major thing that I probably should explain first uh, copy it remember to copy and paste it so that the audio you want to re you want to uh, echo is in waiver 2 and, you know, change the stereo if you want. This is the test recording. Also, it may be a little bit louder because now it's two audio basically compounding one another. So, you may want to crank it down a bit. I uh, may do the first one. For the audio reverb effect. Because, essentially, waiver 2 is what we're going to be messing with. That's what's going to create the echo. I can't believe I forgot that. Sorry. So, make sure it's waiver 2, the place where you copied it. Click on no effects. Choose crystal reverb. And basically, there you go. Go wild and just change it up. Have fun. It's it, That's what I love about these effects. You can experiment with them. So this is what it could sound like. This is the test recording for the audio reverb effect. Now what I'm basically going to do here now is I'm just going to zoom in on this little box. I'm just going to show you all the different things we can do and how much we can like set it up. I'll just hit the player. This button. is the test recording for the audio reverb. You just change so many things and make it new every time. Click back. This is the test recording for the audio reverb effect. That is some echo. So that's what I use whenever I want to make a really epic thing. Or an epic sounding voice. We have a large room. This is the test recording we have a hall. for the audio reverb effect. So there you go. Quite simple actually. You just gotta remember to copy and paste and only edit one of the files. And I like the large room, so I'll stick with that option. Now, how to save 
the file and export the audio so that we can use it in a let's play or whatever it is you want to do. First things first, you got to make sure to set a, a beginning and end point. The start point's already there. Control click like I did. You have to control click wherever you want to set your start and end points. Although I think I'm a little bit off on the start point. Hang on. Uh, let me zoom in and click, control click. Come on, I can get closer there. Good enough. So remember to control click, otherwise it's not going to save anything. You need to say, this is what I want to save. Now, we're going to go to export mix down. And here it is. You And it's awesome. You can export it into different channels, bit depth. I'm going to just call it audio reverb for now. That's all I'll go with. We can do 24-bit, 32-bit, whatever uh, number of audio files. Not all of them, but good enough. And now we're done. And here is our audio file. This is the test recording for the audio reverb effect. This. Okay, I heard enough of that. That boy, that's gonna get so annoying after a while. We don't need these files anymore. We already did our bit with did our bit with them. So there you have it. That is how we make the audio reverb effect. Major kudos and thanks to MarkyMan64, who was the first person to ever tell me how to do this. He's the one who taught me how to do this. Thank you very much. I'm Lucky Jack 20 on this Let's Learn Something New. Signing off.